In the previous lecture, we learned that how uh, we can download and install VMware Workstation to create virtual machine on our Windows operating system. And after that, we learned that how we can install Ubuntu uh, in that virtual machine. And we know that Ubuntu is a Linux-based distro, uh, which we will be using in this course. So in this lecture and in coming few lectures, we will be uh, working with some uh, tweaks and some settings that we can use to optimize the performance of our Ubuntu before we just go full on uh, with day-to-day -day tasks. In these lectures, we will get familiarized with Ubuntu, its layout, uh, how can we optimize it, and how can we make our lives easier. So the very first thing that you need to do after installing your fresh Ubuntu operating system is uh, try to update uh, this operating system and upgrade all the packages that have uh, upgrades available. So for that, uh, just open up your terminal and remember that when you'll be using Ubuntu operating system, this terminal is going to be your biggest friend because most of the time you will be working with uh, this terminal. Now, first of all, let's just understand that how uh, this command for installing something actually works. And then after that, we will uh, use this command to update uh, our system and upgrade all the packages as well. So, for example, let's take an example of installing VLC. This is just for the sake of an example, right? Uh, let's... Uh, consider that we want to install VLC. So for that, all you have to do is type sudo apt install VLC. Now, most of the time when you, you will be installing different packages or different softwares, you will be using this command, right? So let's just understand that what this command actually is. So first of all, we have this word which says sudo, uh, which actually means su uh, and this SU uh, shows that you are a super user. So S is for super and U is for user. Remember when you will be changing something in your Ubuntu, like installing something, removing something, updating or upgrading something, you have to do it as a super user, right? So uh, for that reason, uh, before you wrote this command, okay, I want to install VLC you told your terminal that I'm doing it as a super user, right? Next comes apt. So this is a package that comes built in in your uh, Ubuntu operating system that is used to download and install packages. And next we have a keyword install. In the case of installing something, if you want to remove something, then this uh, word will be replaced by a remove. So the command will become sudo apt remove VLC or in the case of update, you will just write update, right? And after that, uh, the package name or the software name that you want to install in your Ubuntu. Now, when you will execute this program, uh, this terminal, you are actually telling this terminal that I'm doing this task as a super user, right? So when you will enter this command, this terminal will ask you to verify that if you're actually a super user or not. And it will ask you the password that you use to log in into your Ubuntu operating system, right? And after you enter that uh, password, the, after that, it will install uh, any package that you want, right? Right now, we don't want to install VLC. Uh, we want to update our system. So all you have to do is just type sudo apt update and it will update everything in your operating system. Uh, so the very first thing that you need to do uh, after installing Ubuntu is update it. And there you can see that it's asking me for the password to verify that if I'm actually a super user or not. I'll just enter my password and here we go. Uh, the update is being done and it really depends on your internet connection uh, that how long it takes. Okay, I'll just maximize this to uh, show you what this actually means. First of all, you have to know that this is just a warning. It's not an error, right? So uh, it's showing me this warning because I changed uh, this sources list many times. Now, what uh, this sources list actually is, it contains all the links uh, of the mirrors of Ubuntu from uh, where it downloads all the packages, right? 
So somewhere on the internet, we have some links, some servers where all the packages that we are going to be needing in Ubuntu, they are living there, right? And those links uh, are given in our uh, sources list in our operating system. Now, sometimes uh, some of those uh, links don't work at all. So what you do is just try to uh, find uh, live uh, mirror links and you replace them with those new links, right? So that's what uh, it really is. It's telling me that I have changed my sources list many times. It's just a warning. Uh, if you just go above, it has updated everything. There's nothing to be worried about. There is no error. This is not an error. In your case, it might not even show, right? It's just showing me in my case. Now, after update, it's telling me that seven packages can be upgraded, right? That means uh, we have newer versions of uh, those seven packages. So to upgrade it, I'll just go ahead and clear this prompt. So we have a clear screen. All I have to do is just write to sudo apt. Before I did update, now I want to do upgrade. So it will upgrade all the packages that have uh, new versions available. Again, I'll just hit enter and it's uh, it's to oh, okay. So uh, it's actually showing me that uh, there's nothing uh, to be upgraded. Uh, because there was nothing to be upgraded, it has it hasn't installed anything new, and it, it hasn't removed anything. Okay, well, the reason why it sh it's showing that it's it hasn't removed anything because sometimes there is a version of package when the new version comes, they stop the support for the previous version. Now in that case, your new version will replace the previous ver ver version, and to do that your uh, system will uh, first remove that previous package and then it will install the next one right so uh, that's why it, it's showing with this error right so uh, okay so uh, for it it didn't take me uh, longer to do this because i recently upgraded my system but in your case of course it, it will be downloading a couple of uh, packages that needs to be upgraded right uh, so yeah, that's it. That's how you can upgrade your system uh, or your Ubuntu operation using terminal. And next thing that you could do is just, uh, you know, press Windows button on your operating system and type settings. And in those settings, okay, actually you don't even have to go to settings. You can just type updates there. Just type updates and click here, software and update. I will see that uh, when this command will open up, uh, I'll just close this settings because I don't need it. We can directly go to the updates. Okay, so here we have this software and updates prompt. Uh, just go to this tab, uh, set the time. You can set the time uh, that after how much time your system will have automatically uh, updates installed in it, right? There are different boards. You can uh, display uh, that uh, the updates that needs to be uh, downloaded you can only download them automatically and do not install them or you could uh, download and install them automatically so it's uh, i mean it's a be best practice to uh, you know select this option right here okay so uh, and here you can just you know uh, mention that which type of updates you are looking for so it's recommended that you select all updates here because sometimes they don't only send you security updates but they also send you your system uh, updates like i mean uh, it could be re related to display it could be related to performance or speed or something so in that case we don't want to miss them right so all you have to do is just click on this all updates button okay uh and the next thing you should do is install your drivers. Just come here on additional drivers tab and just wait for a little longer to uh, let it test for all the drivers that you need. And after that, it will give you a list of drivers, which in my case, uh, yeah, it's not giving me any because my system is up to date right now. But in your case, it will give you a list. You will just click on that uh, a list or for an item to select and here, uh, apply changes will get enabled uh, so your Ubuntu system will download and install that driver automatically you don't have to go to the internet and search for them individually 
right? So it, it's pretty easier to use Ubuntu as compared to your Windows operating system. Uh, even when you'll be working with uh, creating softwares, writing scripts, you, you'll see that Ubuntu is very much easier to use. You don't have to install uh, any new package, any, uh, you know, required like like you have to install dot and dot net framework you have to install uh you know java related uh softwares to sub in windows to support uh that programming language you don't have to do anything at all in ubuntu uh it's really really convenient for developers that's the reason and most of the research most of the new tools most of the new packages uh, they are being built and they are available for ubuntu most of them are not available or do not work on windows so that's why uh, it's a really great practice to learn ubuntu or any other linux based environment because that will help you in building up uh, your career in especially in it domain so i just close this so in this lecture you learned that how you can update and how you can upgrade your system and how you can install and set up uh, your update schedule and how you can install your uh, additional drivers that your your computer or your laptop may need, right? So in the coming lecture, we will uh, learn that how we can set up the appearance of your Ubuntu, how we can change the colors theme, how we can change the display resolution, etc.